Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let your glory fill the house today. Let your presence fill the house. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Pastor Brina, good morning. Juanita Hudson, Janice Moultrie, Mary Stacy. Hallelujah, we thank you and praise you, Father, we love you. We just lift him up this morning. Pray that he fills your house as he fills my house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Be a consuming fire in us today. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Sandra. God favor me sample. Good morning to you, Jacqueline Hamilton. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Awesome and wonderful God that we serve. Levine Ray Rowe, good morning to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Psalm 93. The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. That throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The flood lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waves, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 96 this morning. O sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful in all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. For he cometh. For he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank you and praise you, Father, for you are awesome. You are wonderful. Magnificent is our God. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and now we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, this morning. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Awesome and wonderful God that we serve this morning. Yes, we love him. We lift him up. We tell the Lord, thank you today for all that he's done and all that he's continued to do because there is no God like our God. Hallelujah. Sits high and looks low. He loves us. Hallelujah. And we love him. Last Psalm of the day. Hallelujah. Psalm 23. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. 
Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to just read verse 4 again to you for today. Meditate on this right here scripture today. Hallelujah. No matter where you go, no matter what you got to do, meditate. If you're going to the doctor, meditate on this scripture. You're going to work, meditate on this scripture. Hallelujah. Throughout the day. Hallelujah. You're doing your business today, meditate on this scripture. No matter what you're doing today, think about this scripture today. Verse 4 from Psalm 23 say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. This is the part I really want you to concentrate on for no matter what you're going through. It says, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. God is always with you. No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're facing, I want you to meditate on the fact that God is always with me. Think about that. I don't care what you're dealing with right now, Hallelujah. It could be a medical issue. It could be a financial issue. It could be a family issue. It could be a church issue. I want you to remember, God is always with me. He will comfort me. His rod and his staff are with me. His word and his spirit are always with me. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God is with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we just thank you and praise you for this beautiful day that you have created, that you have made. We thank you for being our shield and our buckler, for being our, our refuge, for being our strong tower, a very present help in time of trouble. For you are truly an awesome and a wonderful God. You are a magnificent God. For you have said that you will never fail us nor leave us. And God, we thank you that you, Jehovah, are always with us. Lord God, we thank you this morning for waking us up with the rising of the sun and blessing us with the going down of the same. Thank you for your angels who you gave charge over us while we slept last night. Father God, we thank you and praise you this morning. We thank you for your awesome deeds and righteousness towards us. We thank you for new mercies and new compassion this Tuesday. Lord God, we thank you right now. Yes, that you looked down from heaven and you smiled upon us this day. Lord, we thank you and praise you this morning that you are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. You're the same God when we face difficulties and challenges in the past. You're the same God that comforted us and kept us. The same God that got us through and brought us out. Father, you are the Lord God and we give you glory and honor. Thank you for setting the sun to be light by day and the moon and stars by night. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. Thank you, God, for strengthening us when we're weak. Thank you, Father, for being with us in time of trouble. Thank you, Father, for making a way when there was no way. Thank you this morning, God, for being with us when we received the report from the doctor. But we believe, but we believed your report. And you sent your word, and your word healed us. Your word delivered us. Thank you, God, for being a promise keeper. Thank you, Father, for being such an awesome and wonderful God and amazing God. For you are great and greatly to be praised today. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Shalom, the one that give us peace in the midst of hell and chaos. Jehovah Shaboah, the Lord of heaven's host of armies of angels, those angels that surround us. Lord God, we thank you this morning, Jehovah Tashikinu, the one that put us in right standing with you, who declared us the righteousness of God through your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the all-sufficient one, the source of all of our blessings this morning, uh, this day, this month, this year. Lord God, we thank you and praise you. Yes, Lord, thank you for sending Jesus Christ to be the final atonement, the final payment for our sin to redeem us from the curse of the law. Lord God, we thank you and praise you. We lift you up this morning. Thank you for the blood this morning. You see us through the blood, God. Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit, your presence that's in us and upon us. Your Holy Spirit that is a comforter, a counselor, a helper, a strengthener, an intercessor. Your Holy Spirit, your presence that's making groanings for us, that's praying for us, which cannot be uttered. 
Father, we thank you that when we praise you today, it confuses the enemy, God. We don't complain, we praise God. Father, we thank you and praise you right now for unity, hallelujah, between you and us, God. We thank you for the love, God, your agape, your unconditional love for us today. In Jesus' name, give our God some praise, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you and praise you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. Good morning, everybody. Know that God loves you today. I love you too. Glad to be in the house with you today. Hallelujah. I just thank God for another opportunity to be up standing in his presence, praying with my brothers and sisters today, praying, for, hallelujah, for breakthrough and changes, for healing and deliverance. Just thanking God that what he did before, he'll do it again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is truly a loving God. He's a forgiving God. He's a kind God. He's a just God. He's a God that loves you just as you are. Hallelujah, because he made you. That's the best thing about God. God knows what's in you. Like a parent say, I know my child. God knows you. He know your name. He know everything about you. He know what you're going to do tomorrow, how you're going to respond. That's why he said he give us a choice between blessing and cursing, life and death. Choose life so that you and your seed will live. Hallelujah. So let me pray for you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this day. We thank you and praise you. We love you. We lift you up today. I thank you for these, my brothers and sisters, your sons and your daughters. I thank you for the ones, for these, Father, who are committed, faithful, skillful, skillful, loyal, able, prompt to do on fire for you, Father. Hallelujah. Trusting in your word, trusting in your voice, trusting in your presence, God. Even in hard times, still won't let go of you, Father. Lord God, I pray their strength and in you today, God, that you will meet their need. You will supply their need, but you will let them know that you are always with them. You are never, hallelujah, far away from them. You are right there with them at all times, walking with them and keeping them, directing and guiding us, Lord. Father, I thank you for sending, hallelujah, healing, divine help for sickness and disease. I thank you for sending faith for fear, joy for sorrow. Father, I thank you right now that no good thing or you withhold holding from your sons and daughters who truly are serving you and loving you. Father, I pray for strength in the areas to where they're weak, where they feel like they're coming short. Father God, I thank you right now for unity in their household, for peace in their household, for love in their household, for the manifestation of God to be all upon them, that you crown them with glory and honor today, that you show up and show out in their lives today. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning. I thank you right now for the the heads of protection that's all around my brothers and my sisters and their seed, their family, God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against them, they shall condemn. This is their heritage as your servant, for their righteousness is of you, Lord. I declare right now that we are standing up because our light has come. It is our time to shine, Father, because your glory is upon us. And Lord, I thank you right now that even though the enemy may come at us one way, he's fleeing in several ways. That the devil is a liar, that he's under our feet. You put all things under our feet. And we thank you and praise you this morning. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. If you need me to pray for anything, drop it in the chat this morning. Hallelujah. You need me to pray for anything, just drop it in the chat this morning. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Let us bind up the enemy. Let us bind up that negative thinking. Let us bind it up right now. Hallelujah. I know one thing I'm going to pray for. I'm going to pray that faith breaks that fear that's got some of us grappled. We get in church and we can shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can, we can shout hallelujah, but really we scared. We scared to step out. We scared to trust God. I'm going to pray that that fear is broken off of you today. Hallelujah. I pray that you walk by faith and not by sight. That not only are you a hearer of the word, but you a doer of the word. And people see the word of God operating, manifesting in your life this morning. So that's one thing I'm definitely going to add. I'm going to pray for that fear. I see family. I see health and financial prosperity, health and strength, grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Great hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Faithfulness. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes. Family, favor, blessing. Hallelujah. I'm also praying that you have wisdom and discernment. Yes. We got family again. Strength and healing. Family healing. Anxiety. Strength and financial prosperity. All righty. Hallelujah. Y'all putting it in there. I'm just calling it out. Health, family, business, financial prosperity, family, my friend, Tim Holmes, on the way to the hospital. Hallelujah. Got that. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Let us pray. I see love, relationship with family. All right. I see them, Miss Hardy. Hallelujah. All right, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning on the behalf of each and every prayer request that's been mentioned right now. But first, Father, I come against fear. Fear in the lives of your sons and your daughters today. I come against fear that's hindering faith. Fear that's created out of doubt or that's creating doubt and unbelief in you and in your word, God. I come this morning, oh Heavenly Father, standing in the gap, interceding on the behalf of my brothers and sisters. I declare right now that faith is overtaking them in every area of their life. I thank you, Father, that they got faith to trust in you, to believe in you, to walk with you. Faith to change their lives, God, to change their family lives, to change their family's future. And Father, I thank you that they are an example of faith in their homes, on their jobs, with their relationships, and everything they do and everywhere they go, that people see the faith of God all over them. And Father, I thank you that as we step out to trust you, that you have sent your word and your word is already healed for those who need healing this morning. I thank you that your grace is sufficient, that you've given us strength in the areas where we are weak. I thank you for love. I thank you and praise you this morning for families coming together on one accord, families coming together and being family as you created the family to be. Father, I declare that relationships between children and parents are increasing and getting better and better. Father God, I thank you right now that, hallelujah, that faith is also counseled out, hallelujah, anxiety and worry and hallelujah, because you, God, you, your perfect love cast out all fear, cast out anxiety. Father God, I praise you this morning, oh Heavenly Father. Yes, I praise you for financial prosperity, hallelujah, in the lives of your people so that we can do kingdom business, so that we can help those that are in need, hallelujah, help our families and lead wealth to our children's children and that wealth will continue to be perpetual to keep growing and keep going from one generation to the next. Lord God, I pray right now, Heavenly Father, for direction. I pray right now, Heavenly Father, yes, that we all receive clear instruction from you. And Father, I bind up the strong man. I bind up the enemy. I bind up generational curses. I bind up doubt and fear over your people. Father God, I bind up negativity. We bind up sickness and disease. Father, we bind up anything that the enemy is throwing at us. We have on the shield of faith today and we quench every Every fiery dart that the wicked one is throwing at us every lie we won't believe. Lord God, for we trust in you with all our heart and lean out into our own understanding. And everything we do today, we acknowledge you and we thank you for directing our path. Father, I thank you right now that the hearts of your people are turned towards you and we are repenting from our wicked ways and you are healing our land. You are healing our family. You are healing our bodies. You are healing our minds. You are healing our spirits. You're healing our finances. You're healing our walk with you, God. And we thank you right now that you have healed us. Hallelujah. We have full recovery in Jesus' name. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Listen, let me ask you a question. What's the worst thing that can happen to you if you fully commit your life to God? If you fully make a full commitment to God, what's the worst thing that can happen to you? Huh? Your life gets better. 
you start changing. Some people who are really not your friends don't, don't want to hang around you no more. I can remember um, when I was growing up, we used to sing this song in church. It says, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me. What do you want? Do you want to follow God and experience the best that God has for your life? Or do you just want to keep getting little nibblers here and there? What's holding you back from making that full commitment to follow Jesus? You've already accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Make a, a conscious decision to follow him. Because he loves you. The world going to give you some pleasures. But the world will never give you peace. The world going to let you have a great time. But the world will never answer your prayers. Hallelujah. Talk to God about you and your commitment to him. Praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Come on, let's get into a few confessions this morning. I got a few minutes left. Hallelujah. Come on, thank the Lord. I thank God for you this morning. Thank you for your love. Thank you for joining me today. If you got to go to work, I understand, but know that Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And don't be afraid to follow God this day. All right, come on. Let's get into it. Say this after me. I am special. I am unique. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am unstoppable. I am unmovable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am talented. I am intelligent. I am amazing. I am anointed. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am complete. I am whole. I am healed. I am confident. I am faithful. I am dependable. I am reliable. I am forgiven. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am humble. I am thankful. I am compassionate. I am generous. I am nice. I am kind. I am strong. I am capable. I am skillful. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am holy. I am sanctified. I am royalty. I am wonderful. I am set apart. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the spirit of God that's in me, that's upon me, than any spirit that is in this world. I am a child of God. I am God's masterpiece. I am God's handiwork. In Jesus' name, give God praise. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him. Thank him this morning, for we love you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Father. Give him glory. Give him honor. You are God's masterpiece. You are his handiwork. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Yes, you are this morning. And you got to trust in the Lord no matter what happens. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I want to read some verses to you from the book of Proverbs right now. I want to read some from verses to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I want to read from Proverbs 3, verses 1 through 6 this morning. Hallelujah. That's right, Auntie Joe. Your masterpiece. Said, My son, forget not my law, 
but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Following God, following his word. Solomon was instructing his children, hey, let this word, let these words that I'm telling you, let these laws, these commandments I'm giving you, put them around your neck, put them in your heart. Don't stop doing them. Don't ever get off track. And he told them, you'll find favor and good success in the sight of God and man, a good understanding. But then he goes on to tell them something else too. He said, trust in the Lord with all that heart and lean not unto our own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. If you're going to work right now, did you acknowledge God before you started that car? Before you walked outside? Did you ask God to direct your steps on your job today? Hallelujah. You got to go to the doctor, acknowledge God for a great report. And if they tell you something that you need to do, acknowledge it and say, God, I'm going to do this, but I need you to heal me. I'm believing you for healing. Too many of us, we mix doubt and try to put faith in there. Now, you got to be fully committed to God. You got to be fully committed. Hallelujah. You put your hand to the plow when you accepted Jesus Christ. You was making a commitment that I wasn't, you were not going back to the old lifestyle that you used to live. You was, everything was going to be new. You was going to be new. Hallelujah. So have faith. Have faith. And if you want God to, to strengthen you, do your part. You got to make a decision. What do you want? Do you want to be with God or do you want to be in the world or do you want to be on the fence line? Can't do both. Can't do both. Like I said, like the old song said, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Amen. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Let me pray for your peace today. Let me pray for your peace today. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you once again on behalf of my brothers and sisters who are standing with me today. I declare your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father, I pray for the peace of God which surpasses all understanding to be all around them, all over them, all in them, all upon them. Father, I pray for peace in their mind today. I pray for peace in their homes today. I pray for peace, your peace on their jobs today. I pray for the peace of God to be inside of them that they make a firm decision to serve you, Lord, and serve you only, to walk after you, to walk like you, to talk like you. Father God, I pray for peace that they have full assurance that you are God and that you have blessings for them. You have rewards for them. Father, and that they diligently seek you because you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. That we are not wavering, that we are not conformed to this world, but we be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Father God, I thank you and praise you this morning. That in the areas where we're trying to make things happen but keep failing, that we let go and let you, God, let you have our way. And Father, let us make a conscious decision that no matter who won't follow you, we will follow you. That we will trust you. That nothing is above us serving you and loving you, God, and being used by you, God. And Father, I thank you for supplying all of our need according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus, that we shall not lack any good thing. And Father, that we, your sons and your daughters, that we have faith, confident expectation in your power and ability to move in our lives, to operate in our lives, to help us grow in you, help us to mature God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. 
But my brothers and sisters, I want you to know that God loves you. Some of us, we have been going through and going through and going through. And it's been the same thing. It's time for you to let go and let God. It's time for you to trust God. This is your time. But if you're going to keep on keeping on with what you've been dealing with, with the old man, keep, it's time to let go and let God. It's time. Because that unrest that's in you, that unrest that's around you, you're never going to find true rest until you start following what God has instructed you to do. Until you start trusting in God. Until you say, you know what? I told God, I made a promise to God and I'm going to keep my promise because God has been good and he's keeping his promise. So I want to encourage you to continue to walk in faith or ask God to help you move in faith, to have faith. We can do all the confessions that we want, but we got to get our relationship with God right. You know, we got to be about our father's business. And I'm going to let you know, and if, hey, if you got to go to work, thank you for joining me this morning. I'm just going to say this and then I'm going to move out the way. Understand that everybody's not going where you're going. Everybody's not going to be on, on board with what you're doing when it comes to the Lord. And you have to learn to be okay with that. If your mom and daddy won't go, if your husband or your wife won't go, your children won't go, you the one that stood and said, Lord, I accept you and I want to do your will. So you have to. Look at Lot's wife. The angel gave them specific instructions of what not to do. Lot and his daughters, they kept on looking forward. But his wife kept looking. She decided to look back. And that was the end. It's time for you to stop looking back and move forward. So with that being said, I want to just thank y'all for joining me this morning. I hope you make you can if you're local, hey, you can make plans to come out this Sunday and fellowship with us at our uh, Uplift Church 429 Business Expo. This is where we're showcasing businesses in the church, people who are part of the ministry that own businesses that we are, uh, you know, allowing them the opportunity to let uh, people know, God's people know what kind of services and products they offer that you may be able to use or you know somebody else looking for that service and hey, they can provide it to them. So also, I just want to say thank y'all for just being such a blessing to me by showing up every time I have prayer and when we have church service. I just want to say thank you. So with that being said, on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful wife, my queen, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, the most beautiful, is wonderful, is best, is blessed, is faithful, committed, skillful, lawyer, able, prompt to do, on fire, amazing, anointed, devil stumping, fire baptized, Holy Ghost filled, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and you. I upload Church 429 Facebook Live family. God bless y'all. I love you. Stay in faith. See you in the morning. Bring somebody with you. Peace. Have a wonderful day, everybody.